Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of House Flipper. Hope you guys are having an awesome day. I'm having a fantastic day. Last time, we bought and renovated this house, which is now our new home and office. Did all this last episode. Well, I was preparing, uh, well, I was getting ready for this house, trying to find the right place to live in. I bought several places. Uh... I bought th the home admin legends. This house right here is the one we are actually in right now. This is the one that we made into our home and office. But I also bought home and car, boring house, and unsatisfying effect. So basically, I've got about $300,000 or so, a little bit over that, uh, tied up in other houses that I currently own but have not yet renovated. So I think this is what we're going to work on today. I think we're just going to do the home and car, and then next episode we'll do boring house, and then the house after that will do unsatisfying effect. That's kind of my plan. So let's do this one, and I'll kind of show you here what we're working with. Let's just see, and I, if I remember correctly, I cut most of the, the other houses out of the, uh, <laughs> the video because I spent like 15 minutes just trying to find the right house. Um, but anyway, this is the home and car. Yard is pretty standard. You kind of get the deal how this goes now. You got a yard. It needs to be mowed, you know, etc. cetera. Um, but if we go inside, this house is pretty bad. <laughs> Uh, and it's very sort of constrained. We've got a back door over here, um, bathroom, bedroom, and then this goes to the garage, right? So ultimately, this is what, a two bedroom? Yeah, it's like a two bedroom, one bath house. Uh, with a kitchen and dining room over here. But it feels so small because everything is just, like, it's pretty bad. So I think what we're going to do is I'm going to end up basically knocking out this half, like these walls, and uh, just kind of moving some things around. And then we've got this garage, which is great uh, because the car we can sell for a bunch of money. And there's a ton of stuff in here, like boxes and stuff, obviously. Some shelves. We'll clean this up as well. Um, but ultimately, uh, that's kind of the plan. This is what we're working with, and this is the house we're doing today. Now, um, before I get everything cleaned up, a lot of people have asked, hey, why don't you do the cleanup and stuff as a time lapse? Uh, the reason is first-person time lapses get kind of, like, nauseating uh, because they're so fast. Like, in order to speed them up to a, a, a reasonable speed, uh, they're super fast, and it's just like, eh, like, it's that for the whole thing, and it's terrible. So, like, I actually experimented with doing it last episode, I was thinking about doing it, and it just, I wasn't happy with it. So, like, I see all your comments about first person, uh, about doing time lapses for things, um... And I've experimented with it and so far have not liked what I've seen. But anyway, I'm going to get this whole thing all cleaned up and ready to go so we can start working. And then I'll catch up to you. All right, my friends, I have everything all cleaned up. We've got the lawn all mowed and all that kind of stuff. All the trash taken out, etc. There were a lot of holes in the walls to patch up with plaster. Uh, and everything needs a paint job. And honestly, uh, we got to do something with the floor as well. It's not so bad in the main part of the house. This is a decent floor. But once you come here to the little pathway to the garage and whatnot, it gets whew, nasty. Uh, but we'll deal with that momentarily. So yeah, this is kind of what we're working with here. It's uh, very compacted. It's, it's very tight. And I've had some people ask in comments um, in previous videos, can you modify the floor plan? You know, can you uh, add, like, an extension to the house? You know, could I add, like, another room going out that way or something? The answer is no. Unfortunately, this game does not let you modify the exterior walls at all. You can't add more doors that lead outside. You can't add or remove windows. Uh, you can't add extensions. Nothing like that. The only thing you can change as far as, like, floor plan goes is the interior. 
of the house. That's the only part you can get rid of. So like, I can take out these interior walls and be like, hey, I don't want there to be a wall here. But I can't get rid of the, you know, I couldn't do anything here. It just, nothing happens. And you can tell what walls you can move and uh, which walls you can remove and which ones you can't by looking at the map. If you, the, the double thick walls on the outside, those you can't do anything with. Um, but the interior stuff we can change to our heart's content. And I believe that this wall is considered interior as well. Yeah, it definitely is. And we're going to take... Oh, come, come back, you. We're going to do something with this. Uh, just so that this comes out to an even spot right here. That way the garage will be even the whole way. That's the plan. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to get to knocking down walls and opening things up. And uh, then we'll see what's next. Okay, I think I've got some stuff figured out. So I went with cedar doors throughout the house. I knocked out all the walls, painted everything white, just for starters. Um, I went with like a gray wooden floor. This area over here is going to be a little laundry room, I think. So we'll put like a washer and a dryer in here, maybe like a little clothes hamper, you know, some stuff like that. Uh, garage over here. I put uh, fresh concrete in and uh, the car, I'm going to sell the car, but I just wanted to show you how much it's worth. 2300 not bad. Just boom, gone. Uh, and then the shelves, I just kind of cleaned them up. I don't think I'm going to do a whole lot here in the garage because it's already pretty good. I might add a couple more tools and stuff, but for the most part, the garage is already fine. You've got a bunch of garage shelves, you've got stuff on them, and you know, the space for the car, everything's painted, etc. I am gonna swap out that light though, um, and that one too. But yeah, there's that stuff. Over here, this I think is gonna be a bedroom, and this will be our little bathroom. Uh, that we're going to work with as well. I was thinking about maybe making this a two-bedroom house, trying to fit in another bedroom here somewhere, but I'm kind of liking the idea of a one-bedroom house uh, and then maybe doing, like, an office space, maybe, like, over here or something. I don't know yet. Or maybe we just go a standard one-bedroom house, uh, you know, kitchen, living room, um, and, and call it good. I don't know that we necessarily need to go too crazy with it. So, I don't know. I'm, I'm liking this layout, though. This feels so much better than what it was when we first moved in. Uh, it's just a lot more open and, and spacious, which is exactly what we're going for. Also, I don't think we've used one of these yet. I just put a door frame in here with no door, uh, which... You know, I think I kind of like it. So anyway, I'm going to get now to actually decorating parts of this. I think I'm going to start with the bathroom because uh, I kind of have an idea here of what I want to do. Also, I think uh, I'm not going to do a whole lot of on camera uh, designing slash building in this episode because I think I want to fit in two houses if I can. I want to do this one and one of the other houses as well. So let me get to it and then I'll catch up with you. So I went ahead and finished the bathroom. Over here, went with a little corner shower, which I think looks pretty nice. Sink, mirror, toilet, shelf, towels, very simple. It's a real small space to work with, so there's, you know, only so much you can do. But I think it gets the job done. For a small little bathroom, it has everything you need. And then over here, uh, I put in a nice little laundry room. So we've got our washer, dryer, kind of a table in the middle for folding clothes or whatever. Over here, there's a little shelf just to kind of fill space, put a painting on the wall, a uh, little trash bin, and a little laundry hamper. Nothing crazy, but uh, I like it, you know, and we've got kind of the same colors. We got sort of a blue theme going on over here a little bit, a little bit of a light blue. And then over here with the carpet and with the painting, with uh, a little bit of a darker blue. And I just put in the, the ceiling lamp here that I like so much. I, I really love this ceiling lamp. It's nice. It's simple. It's bright. It's just fantastic. I use it in like every house. Uh, so there's our bathroom and laundry room all taken care of. Now, I think I'm going to tackle the... I think I'll tackle the kitchen and uh, I'll, I'll tackle this space next. All right, my friends, the kitchen and dining room are done. And I think they turned out pretty well. Um, so let's tackle the kitchen first. I put in a little stove area kind of over here. 
with a fridge sort of nestled into a cubby in the wall. Fits perfectly. Uh, did some kind of wraparound counters and uh, went with a kitchen island to kind of fill this space and add like sort of a dining room table feel. I figured this is going to be a one bedroom house, so you don't need like a full, you know, four or six person dining uh, table. Um, now, there's some windows here, which made it kind of hard to put up any cabinets. It just didn't look good because this was basically the only place you could really put them. And it just looked kind of out of place having cabinets just there. So I just put in a couple little things, nothing super crazy. Uh, stick in with cedar wood for the majority of the wood in this house. And then I actually really like how this little living room area turned out. I decided to do sort of a diagonal uh, TV kind of nestled into the corner with sort of a wraparound couch. And I think this turned out really well. Uh, also, so I'm pretty happy with it. Um, the one thing that I'm not a huge fan of is that it's very white and gray. I did paint the walls of uh, Forest Mist, which is supposed to have like a little bit of a greenish tint to it, but I didn't want to go too crazy because the problem with colors in a big space like this is that, you know, it's okay. Like if we want to do the bedroom, I'm going to paint the bedroom a very different color, a much more sort of bold color. But if you do that out here, it it's just not going to look good um, because it's too much of that color. So I think here we'll go with the more neutral color. Um, I'd like to find a way to, to fit a little bit more color into this room, but like there's just not a whole lot to work with. I mean, I suppose maybe like some of the furniture you could maybe do something, but I don't know. It's fine. Honestly, when it comes to interior design, my personal preference is a lot more like neutral colors anyway. Um, but at the same time, like I think there is value in having some color. So, I don't know, we I worked a little bit in with some plants and stuff, but uh, if I was going to change one thing, uh, maybe it would be to try and find a way to work a bit more color into this room. But overall, I'm really happy with it. I don't think it looks bad. Um, this is something that I personally would live with. Like, if, if, if I could design my own house from the ground up, this is something fairly close to, like, what I would do. It's just a lot of neutral colors, whites, grays, blacks, etc., um, and I think that would, you know, I'm, I'm good with that. So anyway, last room to tackle is the dining room. I'm not going to do anything more with the garage, I've decided. I did put in a light. Uh, I think it's fine. Other than that, there's really nothing I need to do with the garage. I'm, I'm happy with it. So the last room that I have here to tackle is the bedroom. And I have finished the bedroom. Again, very simple. Basically, bed, dresser, mirror, plant, wardrobe at a painting on the wall. That's basically the bedroom. I, I didn't want to go super crazy. Um, it's a pretty small bedroom as well. There's not a ton of space to do a lot of things. But overall, I think it's pretty good. I mean, we got a double bedroom. We got some, you know, we got a nice kitchen and living room area. We got a nice bathroom in here. All in all, I think I'm pretty good with it. I like this house. I think it turned out really well. I would totally live here. Maybe. I mean, honestly, I need more rooms than this because I need an office and wifey needs an office and <laughs> stuff. But anyway, uh, let's go ahead and let's sell this house and see what we can get for it. Uh, no, you know what? Why not? Let's let's just check the garden contest. Look at that. Free stuff. I didn't even do anything other than just mow the lawn, but it's free money. Uh, so we're good there. And now we get to try and sell the house and see what we'll get. Looks like we spent uh, roughly 80000 or so on the place. Let's see what we get. There we go. 54000 in profit on an $80,000 uh, investment. That is not bad at all. I accept. So look at these before and after pictures, my friend. <laughs> Look at this stuff. That's, I, I moved a wall in the garage. That, so some of these pictures haven't turned out so well. That one looks pretty nice, though. That's decent. There's our new bedroom. And now that's nice and open. Oh, what a difference. I hate it when you have super cramped spaces uh, that aren't necessary. Sometimes you got to have a hallway, right? Like sometimes in a house, you have to have a hallway and it's unavoidable. But for the most part... 
it's nice to do some other things uh, and, and have those big open spaces if you get like here we kind of need to have a hallway so we can get to these rooms but it still feels pretty open it opens up out here you know the door the glass sliding doors also help make a house feel a lot more open all right anyway on to the next house Ooh. Not this. Uh, here we go. So this is our current house that we live in. Let's tackle the boring house and see what we've got to work with here. This will be our other house that we'll tackle this episode. Let's just take a peek and see what we're working with. Okay, so brick house, that's fine. Obviously, we got to clean some things up. Uh, mow the lawn, you know the deal there. Let's take a look inside. Okay, so speaking of unnecessary hallways, all right, we got a bathroom over here. We've got a basement. And then a bedroom. This goes out back. And then this is kitchen and living room. Okay, so, hmm. Definitely some interesting things to consider here. We can definitely make... There, there's a decent amount of space down here. Uh, I think we we might do something... I mean, you could do like a laundry room or something down here, but I think maybe we'll find a way to make that space a little bit more useful. Maybe we'll turn it into like a living room or something. I don't know. I think we can make it work. But first, there's a lot of cleanup to do. All right, my friends. I think I've got it figured out. So here's what we're looking at. When you walk in the door, we're going to have a kitchen area over here, probably like a dining room table, maybe here. This is going to be a little office space. Over here, we'll have our bathroom. This will be one of the bedrooms, this area over here. And then downstairs, we'll have a little bit of a laundry corner, a little laundry nook right over here, and a second bedroom down here as well. So that's essentially my plan for the house. I took what I ended up doing is tearing out all the walls and then putting in new walls where I felt like I wanted them. So this is what we're going with. And I think it'll actually turn out pretty good once it's all said and done. So I'm just going to start working on things. I'll probably tackle the office and the bathroom first or the, the office and the bathroom. And then we'll kind of go from there. I have finished the office right here, which I think actually is really nice and clean. I, I actually like this a lot. I went with a darker wood tone here, sort of a nice, rich. Uh, I think this is. Oh, man, now I'm going to have to actually check. <laughs> what, what, what did I actually go with here? I went with. Um... Cedar, red oak, dark walnut. I went with dark walnut. That's what it was. So I went with, uh, with like a walnut, and then uh, I think some of these ended up being a slightly different wood. Like this is just brown. <laughs> it's just called brown for this office uh, cabinet thing. Um, but it, all in all, I think it turned out really well. It's nice and simple. Um, it, the um, the walnut contrasts nicely with the floor and I think it looks really good. I just wish that it would stay lit up even when you exit the office. But oh well, I also finished the bathroom and I decided to do something a little bit different in here. So I went with uh, some blue wallpaper. I'm not super sold on it, but we've done so much like white and gray and things like that. For walls that I figured, you know what, let's try something a little bit different here. So, I don't know, I think it works out okay. We got our shower area over here, um, added a couple of sinks, I think I went with uh, American Elm for the wood type, and white for highlight colors uh, to kind of go with everything else. So, I don't know, I think it works. There's a, you know, little area for everything you need, and uh, it should be just fine. So next, I think I'm going to tackle the kitchen and dining area over here. All right, dining room and kitchen are all finished up. 
Look at this. I actually think this turned out like fairly well. Now, one downside to this plan is that there's not going to be a living room in the house, but like whatever, we'll put some TVs in the bedrooms or something. It'll be fine. Um, but I went with the Sepele wood, which is this sort of nice reddish brown color. Uh, I did this thing fit just like too perfectly to not use it. Uh, I think it's called like corner kitchen something or other. I don't know. It fit perfectly in this space. So I was like, you know what? We're going with this. And then we went with a little dining room table over here as well. Um, lights makes everything really bright, but uh, it looks good. I think it gets the job done. Uh, all in all, it's a nice little dining room and kitchen area. I think it works. Uh, so all that's left now are the two bedrooms and that tiny little laundry area downstairs. So I'm going to finish those up quick and then we'll be done. Okay, I think I got it, my friends. So here's the first bedroom. Went with a moody cobalt, like a dark blue for the walls. Bed, dresser, desk, TV, everything you need. Uh, walls are fairly plain. I suppose we could put up like a painting or something. Like, uh, let's just find maybe like a landscape, you know, something like this. That's too large. Um, maybe photo garden. I, I really just want like a landscape. Ooh, or maybe something like that. Yeah, there we go. Just put that like right there above the, uh, bed just to fill that wall space. But all in all, it's pretty straightforward. Beige carpet. Um, you know, TV and everything. Everything you need is here. And then ceiling lamp or ceiling fan and another uh, sort of yellower light there as well. Now, if we head downstairs, we've just got a little laundry area right here. And I realize I totally forgot to put in a ceiling light. <laughs> I'll just throw one of those like right here or whatever. And then we need light switches. Let's grab one and put it right here and one and put it right here. There we go. But this way we have a little bit of a, uh, a laundry area with a washer and dryer. And then in here I went with brown walls and did a wall bed or a hide bed here uh, to kind of I don't know. I thought it fit really well. Uh, we still have our TV, guitar hanging on the wall, a little desk area, a couple of car pictures. Uh, you know, all in all, I think it works really well. So that is essentially the whole house all taken care of. We got our bathroom. We got our office. We got everything we need right here, which is pretty cool. So now I think it's time to go ahead and sell this wonderful, lovely house. Let's do it. Uh, let's see here. If we go like so, might as well check the, uh, the garden contest. I mean, it's something. <laughs> Doesn't actually increase the value. Wait, did we not get... I mowed the lawn. Why did I not get credit for a mo... I don't know, whatever. It's fine. It doesn't even matter. Okay, so let's see here. We had roughly 115000 into this house, all in all. Actually, no, minus the furniture sold, so roughly 105000 into this house. $52,000 in profit. Not too shabby. I think that turned out really well. Like, that's a really nice little... There's some nice photos here, I gotta say. I like the way that the, this all kind of came together. I hope you enjoyed it as well. I love those little before and after shots. That's not a very good one. It's just like, boom, wall. <laughs> but hey, it's whatever. So anyway, I think that is two houses taken care of today. We've got one more that we've still purchased that we haven't actually uh, renovated yet. But we can do that next episode because I think this time, my friends, I think it's time for me to call this one here. If you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Link's in the description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, my friends, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.